Hey, Lamau, what is up? <laughs> okay, I'm back up in here. And check this out, though. Check this out, guys. So this is clearly not as much weight as I did before, but there is a good reason for this. First of all, I've been sick for almost literally a month. I was sick before I went home for Christmas vacation. I was sick for like the three weeks I was home during winter vacation. Got back to Japan. I felt better for like a week. And then immediately I got sick again. And I'm kind of leaning. I never thought this before, but recently I've been kind of thinking that maybe it's because... Maybe, maybe it's because I got a flu shot and the first two years I was in Japan, I didn't get a flu shot and because I wasn't in America, you know, and it was just like too much of a hassle. It's like whatever. First year, I didn't get the flu. I got like a minor sickness or whatever. Second year, I got the flu and that was that. And then I didn't have anything else. This year, I got the flu. I don't even know why I got a flu shot because I got the flu before I went back to America. I went back to America, got the flu shot, and then I kept getting sick over and over. And then one of my friends you know, who's studying uh, chiropractic, chiropractic, told me was like, hey, you know, flu shots, they're probably not good for you. And I was like, that's the, that's the first time I've ever heard that. And then I was talking to my other friends and now a lot of my friends have actually been telling me they think the same thing, that flu shots kind of mess you up. So I, that may have been the last time they'd ever get a flu shot. So just saying, anyways. Um, so I took it like, I actually like took all the time off um, for probably about a month from the gym also just to let my shoulder heal because the uh, shoulder impingement thing was really getting out of hand and finally it's ac it's actually I can say confidently now that it's actually getting better it's taking that month off from the gym just letting it heal and doing mobility exercises and then releasing the muscles with the lacrosse ball and all these things um, as well as I went to go see a actual shoulder doctor while I was in America shoulder specialist and he told me like I wouldn't F it up more um, by playing tennis I shouldn't because I'm young and healthy and I look like a freaking Asian Zeus no just kidding but he said like I wouldn't make it worse by doing that but it is a good call to just stop working out for a while until it heals up also I got a just because at that time, I was right about to do the, uh, I was right about to play in the tennis tournament, if you guys watched the video. Um, so I also got a cortisone shot, which like instantly reduces inflammation. And yeah, it's like using sports and stuff. You can, re you can search it up, but it pretty much it's like a shot and it's like a steroidal, steroidic shot that um, reduces inflammation and helps with that kind of thing. And it, that, it hurts so bad for like, two days following but then it became better my shoulders have been getting slowly better and as time's been passing on I've I've been very safe about uh, form not only in the gym but also in tennis and it, it, my shoulders slowly getting better and better I've, I'm now able finally to work out uh, chest with no pain although I'm not doing as much weight as before because I got to get back to what the, where I was and I also have to be safe about things as well as shoulders today just did a shoulder workout not really any pain although lateral raises that's like supposed to be the worst exercise for sh if you're if you have a shoulder impingement or just causing shoulder impingement, and yeah, those are like not fun to do. Like I was able, I was only doing like I think like eight or nine pounds on the dumbbells, and I was like I do not feel strong at this, so I'm not gonna push it too hard because I really do not want to get a shoulder impingement again. That is not fun at all. And uh, yeah, another reason for this light workout, you can see me doing like sumos and squats, although they're not so it's not so heavy because one. It has been like a month since I got back in the gym, so I was really focusing on form. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can see from the squats, but I'm doing a like high high bar and a little closer stance on sumos. Very, really focusing on the form, keeping it um, you know tight and locked in. And I have to say, when I was watching my own video clips, these you know I, like the form, it looked pretty good on both of these exercises. I gotta say, uh, after these movements, I did like the rest of my leg workout, but. This, actually, this was like, I think a Monday or something like that, but yeah, I think it was a Monday, because usually I do like some, anyways, on the Sunday of this week in the video, I had a tennis tournament, so in real lifetime, that was this past Sunday, I had a tennis tournament, my first tennis tournament in Japan, in Okayama, and you know, I was, I gotta be honest, I was extremely nervous in my first round match. Um, I still won 8-2, but I was really nervous. It was 
I, I haven't been able to get into the zone for so long in tennis, and then I just get so, I don't know, I've, I get so nervous because I haven't played a like, you know, competitive match for such a long time. But during the second match, uh, by the way, the clip's about to switch to tennis-related things. Second match, I'm just letting, I'm literally just letting you guys know what's going on now in my life. So, anyways. So if you don't really care, you know, you don't want to hear about it, then you can just stop watching the video right now because it's pretty much just tennis clips and I will tell you what's been going on, how training, etc. has been going on, how I deal with my shoulder problems. Alright, so anyways, like I was saying, um, by the way, this these clips right here, this is of me practicing with my friend Sho. You can see him in a travel video before from, I think, last year's spring break. Very cool guy, very nice guy, can speak English very well and is fluent in Japanese because he's Japanese and so he actually came out and practiced with me in Okayama City the day before the tournament we practiced for like two hours and as you can see you know nothing like flashy or anything crazy here from my side anyways and I don't think from him because he was trying to help me out but just trying to stay solid and be consistent you know so I would kind of have some confidence and uh, you know uh, be confident in my play the following day so like I was saying First match, I was extremely nervous. Second match, I don't know what happened, but the switch was turned, it was turned to on, boys and girls. Like, I was finally in the zone again, was not nervous at all. I was like ready. I normally say I'm a slow starter right now just because I'm so nervous and stuff all the time, but I was definitely not a slow starter in my second match. I like got to work quick and I was playing, finally, I was playing very well. I felt like I kind of felt like I did when I was in high school, you know, I was actually like really competitive and like into winning and I was just getting into the whole thing, you know, the end into the whole thing. But unluckily for me, uh, you know, it was eight games to win the set slash the match. And that's just how the tournament is in Japan. Um, while when I was up three, two, I got a Charlie horse calf cramp. I got cramped so hard. And I'm pretty sure it's because I had not eaten. I, my stomach felt very queasy in the morning, so I like did not eat breakfast, and I only ate a little bit for lunch, and I sweat like crazy. So yeah, I was probably lacking some sodium and/or hydration. Anyways, cramped super hard, but having some bad memories of cramping in the past, I was like, I am not losing today because of this stupid ass cramp, you know. So I I actually pushed myself. And although it hurt, like, I, because I, I was actually cramping, like, the whole time after, so, from there on. Um, but I pushed myself, and I was able to finish the match and win 8-4. So I was very happy with myself because that was the first, that's the first time in my life I've ever, like, pushed through a cramp and won a match and, like, told myself I can win this, you know. It's not over just because I cramped. Like, I can still win this. Before, I just never thought I had a chance when I was in high school. But, I don't know, maybe as you grow older and... You know, go through some things, you learn, your mind gets a little stronger, especially like being in the gym, I don't know. Anyways, so with the shoulder, the shoulder finally getting better, I really, I think I said this in my last video, but you know, I really understand the importance of form, not only in the gym, but with everything you do. You know, if you have crap form, doing something that you always do, like I had not good form on my serve, or before in tennis, just I hadn't played in so long, and I was just serving, and I felt like this a little nagging pain kind of when I served, but I was like being stubborn or whatever, just trying to crank it up, you know, turn up the heat, put some mustard on that, but um, you know, that combined with, I mean, the gym, my form was pretty decent, but mainly just serving over and over again in tennis with bad form, really messed up my shoulder, you know, so form is very important in all things you do, and I should really strive. I mean, now I think, you know, you should really strive to be kind of like, you know, a master at whatever you're doing, you know. Like, do it right. Don't do it messed up, you know what I'm saying? So, I learned, I learned from my lessons. I'm very glad. So, anyways, after the two matches, that was it for last Sunday. And so, guys, your boy, Tigu, your boy, is in the semifinals of this tennis tournament. And that's coming up this Sunday. But let me tell you guys... That cramp and pushing through it, I actually got a strain in my calf muscle. Today is Thursday, and my calf still hurts, still can't walk, I still can't run. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, my calf hurts so bad. I like, I was limping. I was just limping. It was like ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Like it hurt so much. 
And so it's probably from pushing myself too hard, um, you know, even after cramping, but I don't regret doing that. So tomorrow, actually, guys, I'm going into the city, into the big O, to see a very well-established leg focus, a leg specialist, chiropractic, pra chiropractor, and he's going to, you know, hopefully help me out with my leg issue because uh, one of my friends had an issue with her leg. She like strained her hamstring. She went to him. That thing healed in like one or two days. And seeing as how it's Thursday, my leg's still killing me. My tournament's on Sunday, and I want to be able to play at my best because I really want to win this tournament. Yeah, I really want to win this tournament. So I'm going to go see the chiropractor tomorrow. And, you know, hopefully I will be good to go by Sunday. So tomorrow... Um, if, if I'm allowed to, you know, Japan's very crazy about privacy rules, but I mean, I don't know if the guy's a private thing Maybe he won't care so much, but you know if I can I'll record some of my trip to this chiropractor visit and show you guys the difference if there is any uh, Before and after of my calf see what the deal is So you guys can sh see how that works guys honestly, I am like I, I, I'm a believer in chiropractor now. Like, I don't, I didn't know how to say that, but like, dude, chi chiropractor, that that stuff's amazing. Like I, I, I kind of went to one while I was in America before my tennis tournament in America during winter break because you know my shoulder and my wrist had been all effed up, and like seeing the chiropractor and having him, uh, do like his adjustments on me, it like it helps so much. Like it, it's crazy. It like doesn't even seem real, but. It, like you feel you can instantly tell the difference by doing like these those mobility tests and whatever and seeing if there's pain or not so Dude got look how long this freaking rally is boys. Look at the, look at the US Open. Oh, no, no, it's the French Open because that's the longest one But look at it. Look at this rally. I know the ball's been out a few times, but it's okay Anyways, just hitting the ball like this really helped me get confident guys. I'm gonna take you Hopefully sh tomorrow to the chiropractor and then on Sunday. I'm gonna show you what the deal is in Japan with the tennis tournament with the torneo de tennis I'm gonna show you guys how it is in Japan because it is quite different than in America but until then I will I'm I'm gonna put up the video next week of the video <laughs> He's, the boy's gone yeah so I'm gonna put it up sometime next week so until then see you later peace <laughs>